Hey guys, I'm Codemeister, and it's time to code. And today, I'll be showing you how to make this super cool emoji reaction slider with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Now, before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this. Without further ado, let's get into it. Now, to start off, we'll paste the emoji images from my GitHub project. You can find the link in the description below and leave them there as we will be using them in a little while. Then, we'll continue on with creating the HTML structure. Now we'll create the buttons that will change the emoji when clicked. Each emoji will have a child class and a unique image URL which will be the different emoji images. Here, we're just setting up my normal set of CSS styles, where I set padding and margin to zero so that my hero div can take up the full space. Then, I just add a width and a height of 100% to my hero div, make sure it's absolutely positioned so that I can see it and then give it a background.
Now, we'll give our slider a linear gradient background in which each color will represent a different temperature. So now we're adding a background to every child element. We're doing this so that the temperature colors can be easily discernible from each other. So now we're styling the slide element, and this element will be the visual display that shows us what temperature we've clicked. Now, we're creating the bouncing animation for the emojis. Now that we've finished up with the CSS, it's time to get started with our JavaScript. And we're going to start off our JavaScript file by referencing all of the elements that we're going to manipulate. So now we're going to create our first function of our JavaScript file, and we're going to name it get offset. And this function will take one parameter, an element, and it'll get the element's exact x, y position so that we'll be able to correctly position our slider when it moves between different temperatures.
So now we are going to position our slider so that it's exactly where the middle temperature color is. So now we're going to make it. So after the first iteration of the emoji animation, the animation will pause. So now we are creating our click event function. Now this function will take one parameter, and this parameter is the element that was clicked. Now this function will then do logic based off of the clicked element, like moving the slider to that element's position and changing the emoji to that temperature value. So now, we are going to add the main logic to our click event function. The logic will work with a switch statement. It will switch the value of the ID of the element that we clicked, and based off of that, it will change the URL of the emoji and use the getOffset function to accurately change the position of the slider. So now we'll just create a for loop that will iterate through each and every one of our child elements and add a click event listener to each and every one of them.
And just like that, we have successfully created our emoji reaction slider. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.